Hi folks, this is John from Design Wall, and today a look at how to use Customize. First, let's go to Appearance, and then select Customize. And under General Settings, you can easily select between two main layouts. With just one little click, you can easily switch the sidebar from either the left or the right side. And below this is the DW Focus header script, where you can add custom code if you want. For instance, let's change the must-read article's background to the color orange. And it's just that simple. You don't want it? Well, then we can just delete it. Now let's move on to the next area, the site title and tagline. This is where you can change, well, the site title. We'll call it Your Site Title. Then Save and Publish. And we can then check this by hovering over the logo. Likewise, we can change the tagline. Let's put in your tagline, save and published. And we can see it now has been changed on the browser. DW Focus has two logos that you'll also want to change. To change the large logo that shows up in the header, just click select a file and choose your logo. When you refresh, the logo appears immediately. Now the smaller logo is what appears in the footer of the template, and to change it, the same thing. Simply click Select a File, choose your logo, refresh the page, and there it is. Now the third area of customization is navigation, and here we can quickly switch from one menu to another. Let's switch the menu to show just one category. When we do, the sub-menu items of that category are now seen across the top. Now let's go back to our primary menu and take a look at the post-navigation technique. This allows you to switch from a standard pagination menu at the bottom of the content to one that simply reads, See More. And one more item in the navigation area. This allows you to change the number of must-read articles that shows in the top left corner. By clicking on the arrow, that opens a beautiful drop-down mega menu of 15 articles. But let's say we only want to show six articles. Now, when we open the drop-down, just six articles appear. Simple and elegant. Let's move now to the category settings, where we can change the layout of our category pages. And here's how. Let's bring up the business category. And now we can switch from a grid layout to a list layout. And back to a grid layout. Whatever you set is the default, but your user can still decide how they want to view your content at any time. And next, in the social link option, you can turn on and off two default links, the RSS feed and the login form. But wait, there's more. In addition, you can add your own Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus, and LinkedIn links. And once you add your URLs, the icons appear automatically. Now, how easy was that, right? And finally, let's look at our blog settings. To see what happens here, let's first go to our blog page. And here we go. Right now, we are showing five blog posts on this page. But let's change that to just one. There you go. And if you want, you could even select specific blog categories to include. So there you have it, a multitude of powerful but simple customizations built right in to DW Focus. Well done. Hey, thanks for watching.